Well, welcome back. And right now, we're getting into a conversation that um, the main news anchor, Victor Muyakan, would like to be a part of. But the set had only three seats, and we had two guests, uh, three guests. So Victor Muyakan would love to be an observer. And you know what he's going to be doing? Using his scripts, he's going to be writing things and lifting up like this and telling us, AFC Leopards Jew, wrong. Uh, you already have the hint about why this is going on. It's tomorrow. We've got the one match in Kenyan football that brings everybody together, and it's brought a lot of conversations. It's AFC Leopards versus Gormah here, the Masha Meji Derby, and it's in the Kenyan Premier League. And, you know, for you just to understand this, Gormah have had continental, you know, assignments, and they've played just 19 Kenyan Premier League matches. Victor, please. Keep the papers down. We know where you stand. We'll find out tomorrow at 9 p.m. in the bulletin. So it's very simple. So AFC Leopards have played 22 matches, but they're separated by, consider this, 13 points. And in studio with me, well, what about a person who's played in a Masha Meji Derby? Ronald Koss. Welcome to KBC Channel oh, 1. Pleasure. Thank you for having and me. And for Ronald Koss, he's also played for Western Steamer and for Mother United against Gormai. And then that's on my immediate left. On my far left, we've got the man who's in charge of the social media branch of AFC Leopards, the Facebook branch, <laughs> the Secretary General. Seriously, I mean, a Secretary General online. All right. Ronnie Ayo Aloe, welcome to KBC Channel 1. Thank you. And in between them, we've got Robert Osoro. And the reason he's seated in between there is so that he can ask, act as a VAR. <laughs> 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 and bring it together. I mean, 83. And I'll start with you, Aloyo. What is the story that AFC Leopards comes with into this particular match tomorrow? Well, as you know, it, historically, AFC Leopards is the biggest team in, in, in East Africa, not just in Kenya, in terms of uh, fan support and in terms of uh, titles also. So going into this match... Really titles, it's not, I'll bring the numbers it, later. It's not, it's not a normal match for us. It's, it's the biggest match for us in the year, and it's a mastering match for FC Leopards. All right, and for you, yeah. as a former Gormaya player and a person who's played against Gormaya in Matari United in Western Stima Colors, yeah. what's in need for <coughs> Amashi Meji Dad? Well, first of all, I would like to disagree with uh, Ronnie a little bit. <coughs> Gorma, I think, has the largest fan base in <laughs> Eastern Central Africa, <laughs> yeah, and also most titles. But having said that, I think uh, Mashimeji Dab is not just any other game. It's a special type of match. It's a special kind of game, and it's not everything. Is, it's the, the 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 preparation and the build up to it is always not normal like the other game. So I'm looking forward to a big game with lots of excitement and maybe goals and hopefully maybe the be the best team will carry the day. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <coughs> okay, forgive me. The elements are, are the better of me. Let's talk about the numbers they're talking about. Yeah. Where does Simba and Younger come in compared to Gore and AFC? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that, that's a big one for me because <coughs> FC Lopez Gorma is one of the biggest derbies in Africa. This is the Simba and Young of Tanzania. It is the Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates down in South Africa. They are Hali, Al Hali and Zamalek in Egypt. So it's one of the biggest games in African football. And you'll find people from Zimbabwe, people from Zambia, teams that have played FC Lopez back in Africa Cup of the Africa Confederations Cup, the teams like Rio Tinto people will be following this game predominantly very well. But when you look at this game, I think one thing that is coming to this game is that FC Lopards will be looking at Gormia and they'll be like, we need to break this unbeaten record here at home. Because you realize in the 2015 Gormia, class of 2015, Gormia went 35 matches unbeaten, winning the league. and. FC Leopard with Dial, Lamin Diallo broke that record. So, so sorry, let me, let me stop that and bring in, <laughs> and bring in a lawyer. Exactly. A lawyer, speak exactly. about that. Yeah. Frank Nassau was in charge of Komari. They'd gone yeah. for 35 matches, yeah. and that was in 2016. That's the last time FC Leopards won against Komari. Yeah. What was it like for you? Well, it, it wasn't just a win because it was the time that 
uh, Frank Nuttall disappeared in thin air and went to another team <laughs> in <laughs> South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> because a 35 match and beaten run had been broken. So it was a big moment for us. <coughs> and we are going back to Kasarani. You know, Kasarani is almost like the traditional home of football. Yes. And the, the surface is excellent. The, the, the stadium is, is big. Uh, fans come in. So going into this one, I think Gourmet themselves are quite uh, quite troubled because they've kept responding this match a couple of times. <laughs> now it's finally here. <laughs> no, are you, going to come, are you going to agree with your name, Sekoli? <laughs> well, I, I beg to defer because I think this derby has come at a time when uh, Gourmet are, ready, are really on a fine form and a fine run. And uh, you, uh, we can also see FC Leopards, they haven't, they haven't played a lot of games, so they, they, the players have rested enough. And so coming into tomorrow's match, I'm looking forward to a team, a Gourmet side that is very rejuvenated and ready to go. Yeah. Okay, let, yeah. let, let me just speak about the two sides. Yes. At the moment, <coughs> the Leopards defense has obtained 27 goals. <laughs> Gomaya 15. The question is, yeah. coming into this, and you see Gomaya buoyed by yeah. their 4-0 win. Against <coughs> Younger. <coughs> against Younger in continental football. Yeah. Ronald. Well, if we if you look at uh, Gormaya versus young, younger game, already Gormaya have made a big statement, yeah. and uh, FC Lopez have already considered 27 goals. Gormaya scored four goals against Younger, and you know Younger is a big club in East Africa. But so that's that 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 is sending a lot of shockwaves to the FC Lopez well, camp. Everyone, All right, everyone, and yes. uh, everyone knows they killed a dead lion. <laughs> 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 because yes. the younger is a team that's traveling at the moment. Yes, and a couple of good players didn't travel to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. That's beside the, the, the point. Mm -hmm. If you look. At the last 10 matches, uh, Gourmet has won three, Lepers has won three, four have ended in a draw. So yeah. almost everyone is on par going into this one. And I think it's time for now Lepers to take it to five in 11. Oh, so you've been following the Kenyan Premier League. Yes. And uh, Zapata. Yes. How much has the F FC Leopards changed compared to when they had? I think they have really done very well because Zapata's has come in, I think, 11 matches on the trot. He has only lost one matches and drawn three and won seven matches. That is a very good one for the coach. I remember he was thrown into the Lions Den in the Hull City Challenge. He's come in from Argentina. He's getting into Nakuru and he's there with Gormaya to play Gormaya. And that was a big one for him. But you look at this. It is a big game for him. But out of all this that is happening for <coughs> FC Leopards, Zapata will be having a problem with the kind of pull he's having, considering that Ronald Kamura is injured, yeah. Duncan Otieno is suspended. That's going to be tricky for him, considering that Gormaya have a full-fledged team against FC Leopards. Well, I'll put it very simple now, mm -hmm. because first of all, I'll start with you, Ronald. Yeah. Give me your favorite Gormaya starting 11. Well, uh, currently I don't have a favorite first 11 because you know Gormai have a very big squad and they, 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 they have depth in okay, the team. Okay, fine. It's very simple. I'll take it very quickly. Like, 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 like Gormai, who do you want in goal? Like, who I want in goal? Maybe Odoji will start. All right. Yeah. Uh, give me your back four. My back four may be Joash, mm -hmm. Shakava, and then Walusimbi, and maybe maybe they should give Wellington Uchenga a start. Midfield? The, midfield, definitely the usual suspects. Kahata, Mieno, maybe Okeo. Should start maybe they, they should play three at the uh, mid. Wendo, don't forget Wendo. No, Wendo, Wendo, <laughs> Wendo. I don't think. Wendo is all right. Yeah, yeah. fine. Finish, finish your line. And then maybe at the front, maybe we'll have Gulkan and Tuisenge. Yeah. All right. Then maybe supported by Ronnie, AFC Leopards, in goal. You know what? At the moment, that team is beaming with talent. This. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> all right, fine. It's beaming with talent. In goal, who? In goal, well, we know who's in goal. Ezekiel Owade. Oh, all right. Your back, yeah, your defenders. Then uh, at the back, we'll play uh, uh, Sikai. Sikai on the right. Uh, then I, uh, the Ghanaian Oduro on the other side. Then we'll play Shitu and the youngster Kibwage at the center. Midfield. Then in the midfield, uh, we should play Victor Majid, a very good uh, number six. He should term Francis Kahata, I'm sure. Uh, then we'll play. Um, Are we looking at a case where, you know, during the World Cup, we were saying we can't see Messi? <laughs> is that going to be Majid the case? Majid will do that. Well, Majid is going to do the job. Do you agree? 
if uh, if the likes of Mikel couldn't tame um, Kahata back in Nigeria, <laughs> <laughs> continue with your lineup. Uh, then we play Ezekiel said again, uh, the newly signed player from Madari. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then Eugene Mukangula will come into the starting lineup. Jafari Witi. Then up front we'll have uh, Ezekiel Odera, who we expect to be the captain of the day, and uh, the Nigerian hotshot Alex yeah. Orochaman. All right, very simple. Well, right. 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 Oh, so, because for me, I'm not. I'm not going to okay. name the uh, lineups and yes. poke holes in the lineups. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. You look at Gormaya that doesn't have Medica Gary. In, it's the derby. Medica Gary is a big player in the four derbies, the three derbies that they have played. Medica Gary has been there and they have won them consistently. He is not there. And then the F. Leopard side, Duncan Otieno, the main captain, is not in that midfield. Him and Majid have been a very good partnership. So, legend has it, a derby goes either way. All right. Now, let's move on. We've talked about the team and the positives and the fun. But there's something very important. There's no need to run a football game this big and talk about it and not care about you, the fan. Everywhere in the world, people are talking about what's in it for the fan. The TV stations have made their money. The people who are doing player transfers have made their money. The vendors of the food and everything have made their money. But there is something for the fan. The most important person is the fan. And let's just agree. And I'll start with you, Robert. Yeah. The Mashemeji Dabi has a bad reputation. Mm -hmm. What needs to be done for it to... Because, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind going there with a five-year-old, but <coughs> the worst thing I would want is a five-year-old to suffer. I mean, uh, I mean, if things go sideways, yes. items are hauled at him, mm -hmm. or tear gas, yeah. is brief, and he'll have football for life. I think you saw what came out of the FIFA World Cup where the cameraman who was shooting the FIFA World Cup were told not to focus on the women because they're beautiful and all that. People need to learn that sports is all about children and the ladies and that's all about football and that's all about sports. The environment at the Casarone Stadium tomorrow has to be conducive for these two people because we men will come there no matter what. But we need to make it conducive for the child and the ladies. And if the Mashemeji Derby can do that, and they have done it for the past two seasons, the past three seasons, it will be the perfect atmosphere for this game in Eastern Central Africa. Aloyo, that camera is yours. I want you to talk to the Go Mahia fans and tell them that you'll taunt them, <coughs> but you want to walk home with them from Kasarani at the end of the game, and a five-year-old should not be hurt. That's the camera. Uh, well, first to the esteemed FC Leopards fans, tomorrow is a big game for us. Uh, we are certainly going to win. I urge all of you to come out in large numbers and support the team, and we're certainly going to win. To God, my ear, kindly accept defeat. Welcome humbly with us. <laughs> and it's just a game of football. We'll meet again in the future. No, but lawyer, I want a five-year-old to be at that stadium and not have to sniff tear gas. Speak to the Gormaya fans and the FC Leopards fans about that. Uh, well, to the FC and Gormaya fans again, I expect all of you to just fill up Kasarani. It's a game of football at the end of 90 minutes. We are still fans. We are still friends. So let's maintain peace. Let's uh, let the battle be on the field and let the players decide. All right. Thank you very much. Hello. Now, first of all, yeah. very quickly, Playing against Gormahia, what is it like? Because you played for Madari United and Western Steamer. Well, playing against Gormahia is always not an easy match because uh, we, the preparation itself is always something different. So it's, it's always like a final. But uh, when you're playing Gormahia, you, you must go with a game plan. And what about you're... playing against FC Leopards because you've done that? <laughs> <laughs> play, 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 against, play, play against FC Leopards, yeah. fine enough, has been much easier because they, 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 we beat them in, they've never beat us while in Western Steamer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, we have a good record against them. No, this is yeah. not about Western team, it's about God Mahia. Yeah, yeah but, uh, but, but playing, playing uh, I can't take any, anything from FC Leopard because they're, the, they're, they're a big club. They are the are arch rivals, and they always bring in some good competition. All right, very yeah. good. I want, the, I want the National Police Service tomorrow to provide security to the fans of God Mahia and AFC Leopards, the referees and the players, and not to have to control right but, 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 no. oh, but I think no wait yes this is Ronald's opportunity <laughs> that's your camera speak to the Republic of Kenya and tell the Gorma and AFC Leopards fans at Kasarani how they have to be tomorrow so that we can have a great derby that's your camera well 
actually this. To the, to the fans in general, FC Leopards and Goldmeyer fans, football is not a matter of life and death. After, at, at the end of the day, they, we must have a winner, we must have a loser, or maybe we'll share the spoils. So I just urge the fans tomorrow to come in numbers, come with their family members so that you can enjoy the game. At the end of it all, it's just football. It's not a matter of life and death. All right, thank you very much. And as we went, okay, wait, VR, Robert, was sorry, you wanted yes. to say something. <laughs> There's a reason I put you in between. <laughs> yeah. the, two, the two FC, the FC Leopards. Is, uh, 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 no, he's in the stands, forget about yes. it. Uh, what I wanted to say is, you can credit Gourmet and FC Leopards fans so far because for the last three seasons, they have actually maintained that decorum of a football match. We were with them in Machakos, we never met in Bukungu, we were with them in Nyayo Stadium in 2015. And you lose, you go. You will see Jaro Soldier, you will see pasta exchanging cuckoo and chicken. And no, I will no, expect... cuckoo and chicken is the same thing. You're supposed to be saying cuckoo and samaki. <laughs> yeah, cuckoo and samaki. So I'm expecting Ronald here to be giving Ronald. a lawyer a fish, and a lawyer will be giving chicken tomorrow. So it'll be a good one tomorrow. All right, so we didn't have that exchange here. I mean, we can do it virtually later. But a quick, it's a one word answer. Final score three tomorrow? 3-1 three, three in favor of Leopards. Tomorrow? Well, uh, you, you know Gorma is the husband of teams and they still up at the first <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This so is a lovely program. I'm, I'm looking forward, for, I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward for to 3-0. 3-0 win. All right. 3-0 win. Three. Three. Thank you very much, Ronald and Ronald and Robert. Ronald Koth is playing for Gorma Western team and Madurai United. Thank you very much. Secretary General, AFC Leopards. Facebook branch, social media, and by the way, learn from Gormaya. I mean, we can see it, we won't lie. Thank you very much, <laughs> my colleague, Robert Rousseau. So, thank you very much. And uh, the man in the stands, by the name of Victor Muyakane, is going to wind this down. He doesn't have his placards, I took them from him. Thank you for watching. <laughs>